Simon's death was not discovered until three o'clock the next day. One of the neighbors knocked at his door, and when there was no answer, she called the police. They discovered Simon's body on the bed. The police questioned everyone, but they did not learn the truth. The police finally decided Jules Simon had killed himself, and soon everyone forgot about him. I had committed the perfect crime. For three months after Simon's death, I worked day and night on my diamond lens. At last, the lens was done. My hands shook as I put a drop of water on a piece of glass. Carefully, I added some oil to the water to prevent it from drying. I turned on a strong light under the glass and looked through the diamond lens. For a moment, I saw nothing in that drop of water, and then I saw a pure white light. Carefully, I moved the lens of my microscope closer to the drop of water. Slowly, the white light began to change. It began to form shapes. I could see clouds and wonderful trees and flowers. These plants were the most unusual colors, bright reds, greens, purples, as well as silver and gold. The branches of these trees moved slowly in a soft wind. Everywhere I looked, I could see fruits and flowers of a thousand different colors. How strange, I thought, that this beautiful place has no animal life in it. Then I saw something moving slowly among the brightly colored trees and bushes. The branches of a purple and silver bush were gently pushed aside. And there, before my eye, stood the most beautiful woman I had ever seen. She was perfect, pink skin, large blue eyes, and long golden hair that fell over her shoulders to her knees. She stepped away from the rainbow-colored trees like a flower floating on water. She drifted through the air. Watching her move was like listening to the sound of tiny bells ringing in the wind. She went to the rainbow-colored trees and looked up at one of them. The tree moved one of its branches that was full of fruit. It lowered the branch to her, and she took one of the fruits. She turned it in her tiny hands. And began to eat.